In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to add custom fields to the asset view within Smart IT. And here's the list of objects that you need to modify within Developer Studio when adding the custom field. To add a custom field to the generic asset view within Smart IT, you only need to add the custom field to the AST Attributes form and the AST Base Elements form, which is more of a default view within the system. And to add the custom field to a type specific area of the asset view, you would need to add the custom field to the AST attributes form and the related asset specific form, which would be AST printer or AST computer system. But in this demonstration, I'll just be adding the custom field to the generic area of the asset view. So let's go to developer studio. Let's open up the AST attributes form, create a view overlay. I'm going to create a new character field. Test field within the database drop down as well as the display drop down. Assign permissions to the field. and save the form. Now you want to open up the AST base element form, which is a join form. Create a view overlay. I'm going to go to the general tab. Right click and I'm able to add directly from the AST attributes form to find my new test field. There it is. We'll click OK. I'll move it down back here and then save the form. And here's the set of instructions in order to add the custom field to the asset view within Smart IT. And I'm going to demonstrate this for you. So log into Smart IT, click configuration, click screen configuration, scroll down to the asset view and refresh the metadata. We're going to choose generic area. I'm going to find my test field, click Save, click Create, and I'm going to create a new asset. And then when you look at the other info, you'll see my test field has been created. And that's how you create custom fields to the asset view within Smart IT. Thank you.